Hi, this is Mary Ellen with Portraits of Me, and today I am finally recording my book swapathon TBR video. I am so sorry it's late. It's been one of those hectic weekends, weeks, lives. You know how that goes. So it's taken me this long. Today is Tuesday. It's day three of the swapathon, and I'm excited to share with you what I'm going to be reading. This is Tuesday. I probably won't get this up until Thursday. I know that's kind of late, but tomorrow is Wednesday and my nephews have come from out of town to come visit me. So I'm going to be spending my day with them and and then the editing. It takes me a while to edit. So this video will probably go up on Thursday, but that's not going to take away from the fun of discovering some books with me, right? So before I get to my TBR, I do want to say that I heard about this book swapathon from Krista from Books and Jams. I'm just checking to make sure I'm getting her name right. Books and Jams, yes. So I saw her video announcing the book swapathon and I thought it would be such a fun thing to do. And I signed up and I was assigned a buddy from them. I guess Krista is doing this book swapathon along with three other booktubers and their names are Derby, Karen, and Rachel. And I'm going to put all their information down in the description box below. But part of this book swapathon is some challenges that, that they've set up for us to do. So not only did I swap a book with somebody, there are some other challenges as well that I'll be going over with you. I was assigned or given a book swapathon buddy and the buddy I received is Jessica from Me To You and I'm going to put all of her information down below as well. That way if you're interested you can check out her video of her TBR and what I sent her for this book swapathon. And so I received a book in the mail from Jess and it was so exciting that I didn't wait to film it. It arrived at my job because I gave her my work address and I just it was sitting on my desk and I held out for maybe about half an hour but the package kept calling my name. I was wondering what book she had chosen for me and I'm not really good with packages sitting next to me that are not opened or unwrapped. I, I just not good at that. I have no restraint at all. So I finally decided I'm just going to open it and see what book it was. And boy, was I not disappointed in the book she chose for me. So thank you so much, Jessica, for sending me a book. And the book she sent is this book right here. It's The Archived. So I've been wanting to read this book for the longest time since I heard about it. So when it came in the mail, I was just so excited because this is a book I really, really wanted to read. So this is the book that will fulfill the first challenge in the book swapathon, which is swapping a book with a book buddy. So thanks again, Jessica. This is awesome. I'm so excited. I've already started to read it because it's day three in the book swapathon, and I am loving it so much. So thank you so much for choosing this book. This book is about. It's about, I don't even know how to categorize this. I don't know if it's like science fiction-y or what, but in this story, when people die, their bodies go into an archive. And in that archive, the person is, I guess, instead of going into the ground like a coffin like we would, they go into a shelf because people are able to access their memories and their experiences, so their histories. So it's like a library of the dead people. And what the main character's job is, and her name is Mackenzie. What Mackenzie's job is, is she's on the ground level. There's like three tiers to this world or this, the way this is ran. And she's at the lowest level, she's 16. And she, is a keeper so that means that if a history escapes if they wake up from death and wander out of the library that they're stored in then it's up to Mackenzie and other keepers to haul them back in to that library and make sure they're put back to bed and 
away, but what happens is one of the librarians, the one who is archiving all these dead people, finds out that one of the dead people that's in his area has been tampered with. His memories have been tampered with. So that's a no-no in this community. And so they're investigating why that happened, who did it, why they did it, what history was tampered with. So it's a really good book. And this is the book that I'm hoping to finish by the week, which I think I will because it's Tuesday night and I'm already on page 150 and I'm on chapter 15. So that's the first book that I want to get through. And then, like I said, there's other challenges. So let me share those challenges with you. Challenge number two is an unhaul swap. So swap a book with a library or thrift store, which I didn't have time to do. But my sister, I'm going to unhaul a book to her. And those who have watched my library haul know that I recently bought this book because I need a book cover for the same book that I got on paperback swap that arrived with no cover. So I'm going to unhaul this no covered book of Unbroken to my sister. So this is the book I'm going to unhaul during this book swapathon. And then the third one is TBR swap. Swap how you usually choose books for your TBR. I normally pull my two books because I try to read two books a month. I pull those out of my TBR jars and I'm not doing that this month. So instead of doing that, I'm doing this whole this book swap a thon. So I think that completes that challenge. Challenge number four is genre swap. Swap your usual go to genre for something a bit out of your comfort zone. And what I'm going to do for that one is read this book right here. This is a book I received from my friend Lori. She lent me some books that she had that she thought I would be interested in. And one of them was The Help. And I guess there's a movie about this book, which I haven't seen. And she said this is a really good book. So this is just a general adult fiction. And I haven't read adult fiction in a while. So this is going to be a little bit out of my comfort zone because I just haven't engaged in a regular fiction-ish story. Normally I've been reading a lot of fantasy, sci-fi, and things like that. So this is the book I'm picking for that. And this book is about different people in Jackson, Mississippi during 1962 when there was segregation between the black and the white people. And so this book is telling a story about several maids as well as the people they're serving. It's very interesting. I am enjoying it immensely actually. And I am on page 294. So I'm like, I think almost halfway or a little bit more than halfway through this book. So that's going to complete that challenge there. The next challenge is challenge number five, setting swap. Either read in a different location or read about a different location or both. This one's a little hard because I am a reader that reads everywhere. I carry a book with me. I read at home in my living room. I read at home in my bedroom. I read outside. I read at work. I read on my lunch breaks. I read all the time. So finding a different location, I do that anyway. So that one's kind of can't do. But it says, or read about a different location. And so I'm just going to keep reading this one for that challenge. This is the help. Again, it's set in a different location from where I'm from, Jackson, Mississippi, which is a far stretch from California. So that's going to complete that challenge right there. So let's go to challenge number six, which is the last one. And that's the cover swap. Read a book with the letters SWAP on the cover. Can be anywhere, title, author, or blurb. And I think... This one's going to fulfill that as well <laughs> because it has S for the author's last name, S and then W is a New York Times bestseller and A is in the author's name as well and then P is in the help. So that covers the swap. 
I tried to see if the archive covered it, but I couldn't find a W. No, wait, there's a W. Let's see, there's an S, W, oh, there's no P. So I couldn't do it with this one because it was missing the P in swap. But luckily this book covered it for me. That's about it. These are the two books that I am reading for the book Swapathon. Again, thank you, Krista, for introducing me to the Swapathon with your video. And thanks so much, Jessica, for sending me this book, which I am loving. I'm having so much fun. I think I'm going to get through two books in a week, which is very rare for me. I'm like really, really doing my best to read as much as I can whenever I can. So if I do finish these two books, I will be very excited that I was successful in this book swapathon. So thank you so much you guys for watching this video. If you have read any of these books or have any feedback about them, please leave a comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts on them. And if you are doing the book swapathon, I would love to hear that as well and check out your videos and see what books you are reading. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I try to do a video at least once a week. Thanks again for watching and I'm hoping you have a great morning, day, evening, or night and I will see you in my next video. Bye!